I've been studying gelato monkeys on and off for eight years now, and I've seen some incredible things. Whether it's the live birth of a gelato infant from just a few meters away, to um, some intense fights where I'm just kind of stuck in the middle and the gelatos are ignoring me and proceeding to tear the faces off of each other. Gelatas um, just have very kind of moments that as a researcher you don't necessarily focus on but as a human being that you can appreciate. Just being frozen solid next to gelatas on a really windy day where you share a hailstorm together sitting under a ledge waiting for um, the conditions to change. You get to understand the individual personalities of them and that is something that I didn't necessarily appreciate before I started working here, uh, was how varied individual animals of the same species can be. Why do I do this? Um, I, I, it's hard not to talk in cliches, you know, when, when someone asks you that. You know, you're just constantly having natural beauty thrown into your face when, when you're sitting up here. Like every sunset, every sunrise is breathtaking. You know, you're looking out over the Rift Valley and, you know, if you have a bad day, all you have to do is look to the east and realize, oh wait, you know, I'm standing a few thousand meters above, you know, this huge pastoral expanse with cliffs right next to me near a herd of, you know, hundreds of monkeys. Like, you know, life isn't so bad. In fact, it's, it's really interesting. <laughs>